Okay, so we're going to start out. Cam said base times height. We'll go with that. What is the base and height of one of the squares? Doesn't matter. We just want one. Six. Six. So area is going to be six times six. So what's the area of one of the squares? 36. 36. And these are inches squared. That's one area. I'm going to underline it. So how many squares do we have? Six. Six. So do we have to find the area of each one individually? No. no. What's a shortcut we can take if we know they're all the same? Well, we can multiply this times how many squares do we have? So 36 times 6. What's 6 times 6? So carrier 3. 6 times 3 is? 18. And 18 plus 3. 21. And that's going to be our total surface area for this cube. When you see SA... This SA, that stands for surface area. So that's what they're wanting you to find, what they're wanting you to solve for. Then let's look at another example. Turn around. And draw this figure. <clears throat> Alright, so E and F, we're going to go ahead and start. They are what type of figures? Squares. They're squares. So we can use any of the formulas that we know will work for area of a square. Let's use length times width. We said that their dimensions are 4 by 4. So what's the area of just E? 16. And these are millimeters squared. How many of them do we have that are the same? Two. Two. So now we need to double it. What's 2 times 6? 12. Carry our 1. What's 2 times 1? Plus 1. Three. 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 So now we can start with A through D. They are what type? Oops, sorry. All right. They are rectangles. <coughs> so we can use that length times width again. And their dimensions are 12 by 4. Let's come over to the side. What's 4 times 2? 8. 4 times 1? Okay, so 1, just A, would be 48 millimeters squared. And we said that we have 4 of them are the same. So what do we need to do with the 48? Very good. So times 4. And that will give us A, B, C, A, and D's area. So what's 4 times 8? Put our 2, carry the 3. 4 times 4 is 16. And 16 plus 3. 19. So I underlined our two final areas of 32 millimeters squared and 192 millimeters squared. So I can keep track of those two. What do you think we're going to do if we need to find total area? 
add them all together. So we can say surface area equals 32 millimeters squared plus 192 millimeters squared. I want you to work it out. You can draw the square next to it if you need to see it. So we're doing A, it's a square, and it's five by five. So we can use our formula. We can use length times width. Our dimensions are five by five. So what's the area of the base? So it's 25 inches squared. And again, I'm going to underline my areas that I'm going to keep track of so that I remember I have to go back at the end and add all of my underlined answers. So we already said that all the triangles are the same. So that means that B through E are all the same. Again, if we need to draw it to help us, that's six, that's five. So what's our formula for area of a triangle? Base times height divided by two. Very good. So area equals base times height divided by two. What's the base of our triangle? So what's the bottom side, where it's, what it's sitting on? Five inches. So the base is five. Remember the height has to be at a right angle to the base. So what's the height? It's the six. So that would be our right angle right there. And then we want to divide it by two. So what is 5 times 6? 30. And then 30 divided by 2. So this 15 is telling us 1. So that's like just the area of B. How many triangles do we have? We've got 4. So what do we need to do? Do 15 times 4. What's 4 times 5? What's four times one? Four. Plus two. Six. That's a final area because that's A, or that's B, C, D, and E. What is the last step that we need to do with our two underlined bits of information? We're adding them together. And so that's our total surface area answer.